How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I am at Oculus at the World Trade Center. Now today I'm going to talk about traveling alone. Now including right now I am alone in New York City. Um, I didn't come with anybody but it never used to always be like this. I would be really really scared and dead afraid to go anywhere too far. Maybe even like even one week I would be really really um, anxious if I ever tried to do that. But what changed? I think it's more of a progression thing because I've been to other countries where um, I was alone and you know I just kind of went around eating at restaurants and stuff. It was really weird at first and very very self-conscious about it. I remember at times I would get pretty depressed because I'm not with anyone but you know you get over this after a while. So I think what really changes you guys in this camera for some reason bringing this camera with me sort of you know pushed me over and sort of allowed me to go you know what I'm going for a purpose I'm going to record something so I feel like I am there for a reason I guess if you know what I mean because whatever I record I feel like there's a reason for it and I'm gonna put it together I'm gonna upload it I'm gonna show you guys and then you're gonna be responding to it is as if I'm bringing 170,000 people with me but I realize not everyone can start a YouTube channel and bring their whole subscriber base with them there's a distinct advantage to all of this because when you do travel alone you can go to all the places that you want to go um, no one's gonna stop you you can just go and hey, you know maybe today I don't want to do anything I just want to hang around in one single spot and just you know sit there go go to the park sit there for you know 60 minutes if you want however long whatever that you want anything I'd say the best thing that you can do is probably to work up to it maybe just go vacation somewhere one or two days only don't do a whole week because um, it might be too shocking a thing just you know lower the barrier lower the threshold so you can at least start traveling alone just kind of dip your toes in the water first these days I could hide my camera and no one would know that I'm trying to record video and I would be just as comfortable going in a restaurant eating alone anyway. I don't know what changed. I think being on YouTube and having all these comments bombard me just really toughens up your skin and then when I go in there these days you know I could care less what people think about me but but before I acutely remember whenever I go in the restaurant and eat alone one of the very few first times I did it was I always think like you know there's a group of people they're like chit chatting I don't know if they're talking about me or something but the truth is yeah maybe they are maybe they're not but in the end should you really care about it that's my take on it these days it's like okay they could be talking about me they could not most of the time it's just in your head so what can I say to help you guys to you know kind of go out there and travel alone because I believe that when you do this when you open up the store for yourself you can actually go to so many more places you cannot just always wait you know for someone to have a free time to go with you to some foreign country or something a lot of people have different wants and needs they want to go to a certain place I know last time when I went to New Zealand I couldn't exactly go to everywhere I wanted I even had to go to Sydney even though I went there already but you know just me not being too strict I'm like okay if you guys want to go there you know I'll go there even though I've been there before so if you do it yourself you can go to every single place you want to go and not go to the place you don't want to go does this make sense a lot of people make this sacrifice they just want to go with someone you know it's so it doesn't seem like you're a loner or anything and because of the sacrifice you sacrifice yourself from being able to do everything that you want to do like I said with my other videos for financial independence you really have to have this honey badger mentality you do stuff what you want don't care about what other people think how do you build such confidence you can open up a YouTube account you know start uploading videos try to you know read all the comments you know it really adjust yourselves to it you start to get a thicker skin it's really a work in progress here alternatively I think you can gain more confidence and have a thicker skin if you just start pursuing things that you want to do just concentrate more on it build up on it so that you can gain your confidence you then have something to strive for and this confidence builds up from inside so I hope this helps you guys because I think trying to travel alone when you're not prepared for it, it's much much harder because you're just trying to jump into really really cold water I know I couldn't really have done that myself I just happened to find myself alone and I'm like okay you know I just gotta tough it out but it was difficult I was doing that for a whole week in Hong Kong I think probably five six years back and it was hard you do get used to it a little bit more at a time but then um, I think what really really helped me in the long term is growing a thick skin through reading really really hateful YouTube comments I don't know in a way that really really helps me this whole honey badger mentality that I 
I keep on talking about. Financial independence certainly helps. It just adds on to itself. All these things just builds on one another. Having a thick skin helps you get to financial independence. Financial independence helps you get a thick skin as well. So working on your own hobbies, getting good at it, and actually making money so that you can actually pay for your vacation like this. So anyway, these days I'm spending so little on vacation. Even though I'm buying $25 per meal, I can easily afford all of this because I'm still staying at Airbnbs that are really relatively cheap. I paid next to nothing for my plane tickets. I paid uh, really, really little for my total accommodations that's in New York. So basically, I probably cannot do it infinitely because at a certain point, I will use up all my hotel points, all my airline miles and stuff, and then I would have to uh, pay for it out in cash instead of using points. So I hope this video helps you guys out. I do have that t-shirt sale that says Infinite Vacation Honey Badger. This is like encapsulates multiple genres of videos I ever make. Infinite Vacation, Financial Independence, being like a honey badger, basically not caring what people think of you uh, to the point where you don't even think about if they're thinking about you even. I have that t-shirt sale going on. I don't think I'm gonna have that forever. Eventually, I probably will migrate it over Teespring or something and just sort of uh, stop offering this Honey Badger t-shirt. So this probably will be a limited time. I'm planning to do a brand new design if it ever moves on to the Teespring site. If you're interested in supporting this channel, check out my t-shirt sale down in the video description below. I also have an audible down there if you're interested in getting a free audiobook. Patreon over here if you're interested in getting videos before I even release them. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to that subscribe button so that you get a new notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Hold on a second. Someday, I'm gonna get used to, you know, just keep on rambling on when people are like right next to me. The thing I don't like though when I'm rambling on is because when people hear what I'm saying, people like to respond on camera and they're like, oh, da 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 da. Usually, I just want to express my thoughts without some side comments, I guess. Is anyone else coming? Okay, no, no one else is coming. <laughs>